So in this video, we're gonna talk about what you should do if the lead in your mechanical pencil jams. If that happens, you'll be pushing the button and the button feel like it won't feel right or you'll just be pushing it and lead won't be coming out. You'd be pretty sure if there's lead in the interior chamber that you have a jam. So what do you do if that happens? I'll assume that you gave the pencil a good shake, you pushed the button a bunch, and none of those things worked. So here are the next steps. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the front piece off. In some pencils, the front piece will come off. In other pencils, it will not. So for this example, the Graph Gear 500, you have to take off the full front and you'll see the clutch right here. In something like this, this is the Pentel Graph Gear 1000, you can take the front piece off. So let's assume that the front piece does come off in your pencil. Uh, what we're gonna wanna do is look through that little hole there and make sure there's no dust or debris or paper shreddings or uh, anything like that in there. Sometimes a little piece of lead will get jammed in there and you wanna make sure there's nothing there because that could cause a jam quite easily. Uh, for the Graph Gear 1000, you can't take that front piece off by itself. So you will take the whole front apparatus off, in this case with the grip, and you could look through that little hole there and see if you could see daylight. In this case, you can. So we could be pretty sure that nothing is obstructing or blocking that hole. This is only a point, uh, 0.3 millimeter pencil. So it's more prone to jamming, but uh, this one's not jammed. Anyway, you can see that little hole there. It's quite tiny for a 0.3 millimeter pencil and it's clear, so we're good there. The next step, if your pencil's still jammed, is to look at the clutch. This little piece right here is called the clutch. It holds the lead. It stops it from just a sliding out. Uh, in most mechanical pencils, you could either see the clutch like this, or you could pull this piece out. Uh, I guess this one you can't pull out, but, uh, or you could, sometimes you could pull the whole component out of here and see it. We'll, we'll look at a pencil like that in a second. With the uh, 1000, you do not have an open clutch like that. The apparatus is hidden because this is a double knock pencil, which just means that right here, there's no sleeve or there's no uh, pipe sticking out. You will extend the pipe, then you'll click to extend the lead. So it's a slightly different mechanism. There's all sorts of different mechanical pencils. So you just have to kind of use this as a general guide and then go from there. Again, we can't see the, uh, the interior of the clutch, but it is there. And most of the pencils like that, if you unscrew a little bit, the part will come off and you'll see a pretty standard clutch in there. Most mechanical pencils, they, even if they look different, they have the same fundamental parts. So what you wanna do now is you wanna open the clutch. And just pushing the button is not gonna open the clutch because there's usually something stopping this sleeve from moving ahead like this or from moving out like that. So you just put your finger there or a piece of tape or something and that'll push the sleeve back and allow the clutch piece, this like collet, to open. You'll see the lead slid back in there. And now you can give it a shake. Uh, if you do it this way, your, any lead inside is gonna fall out, which is fine because the pencil's jammed, but uh, sometimes if you don't wanna make a mess, you could just do it upside down. Anyway, so you get it like this, put that sleeve back. Now this collet is open and you can give it a bounce and uh, see if anything will come out of there. You can kind of poke something tiny in there, but this isn't the right thing. We'll look into a cleaning rod in a second. So that's kind of a more advanced technique. Anyway, so this is the next step. Make sure there's nothing stuck in the clutch. At this point, most lead jams will be cleared up because we'll have the front piece taken care of, this thing, and then we'll have the clutch taken care of. The clutch is really where it happens most of the time, but uh, it's worth doing the, the uh, both set of fixes. Okay, putting this back together. And now let's look at how we would clear out a pencil with a clearing rod, or sorry, a cleaning rod. Uh, this is a, uh, sorry, this is a Pilot S10. It's a very solid pencil, I like this one a lot. And this one includes this right here. Under the eraser, it's a little hard to get at, under the eraser is this right here. This is called a 
cleaning or clearing rod. And all it is is a skinny little piece of metal that is used to clear out the inside of the pencil if there's a jam there. Uh, this is this used to be included on almost all mechanical pencils, but as mechanical pencils have shifted away from being a tool that like professional draftsmen use and more to something just like it's useful day to day or for students, a lot of costs have cut and you see these cleaning rods appearing less and less often. Uh, plus it for like a student type thing, giving them a sharp little rod like this may not be the best idea. So if your pencil doesn't include one of these, you can buy one. Or if you have one, then here's how to use it. Uh, the number one thing you want to know is that this cleaning rod has to be smaller than the size of the pencil. So this is a 0.5 millimeter pencil. Uh, this will work then with a 0.5 millimeter or 0.7 millimeter pencil. It won't work with a 0.3 millimeter pencil. And what you want to do here is you want to, assuming there's a jam in the front, you will push the button down and you can remove the lead or you could just push the lead back with this. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. You're gonna to wanna to do this and insert that cleaning rod. And this is really pretty challenging with a camera in front of you, but you could probably get to the end. Insert the cleaning rod, push back, and you wanna keep this held down, your button held down here, otherwise it's gonna grab the cleaning rod. And that motion will have basically done what we did before and just clear out the pipe here. Alternatively, you can do what we're gonna do now, take out the front piece, you can clear this by itself. Again, very difficult with the camera in front of you, but you probably get the point. No obstructions, we're good there. And then you could look for your clutch. And you won't be able to put it in like this, right? Because it uh, there might be some lead in there, but if your clutch is open, it will slide in there, no problem. Sometimes if you have a really skinny cleaning rod, it'll be fine. Uh, the cleaning rod can be really small. Like this might be the cleaning rod that's compatible with a 0.2 millimeter lead, but it'll be just, it'll, it'll work with a 0.5 millimeter, or 0.3 millimeter, or 0.7, whatever. You, whatever. So you would just push this down. You could open up the collar a little bit, push it in, and now we're good to go. Put this piece back. Put this back in place. Slide the front piece back on there. And start clicking around. And your jam is gone. So the cleaning rod is not necessary, but it's definitely like the uh, industrial strength way to get through this. You could use a skinny safety pin or like a little piece of wire or something, but finding one that's gonna work with a 0.5 millimeter is not that easy. Finding one that's gonna work with a 0.3 millimeter can be a real challenge. And that's why you can buy these cleaning rods and you can buy like five of them with erasers. So with this type of eraser, uh, you could buy five of them from Pilot or from Lamy and other pencil companies for like maybe uh, five dollars, four dollars, something like that. They're quite they're quite cheap. Obviously, this you can save too, right? If you pull this piece out and put it into the, your next eraser, you're good to go. And that should about cover how you clear the lead a lead jam out of a mechanical pencil. If you're still watching, what are some reasons? that the pencil jammed, I would say that you're kind of mushing too much lead in there and you're just uh, pushing it and pushing it and pushing it even though it's not working. You could also be using lead that is too brittle. If you use like a higher, a lower darkness but higher hardness lead, it can crack and pieces can get stuck in there. Also, if you're not occasionally cleaning out your pencil, you can have dust and debris and other things getting stuck in the front matter and that will cause jams. And then uh, sometimes you put the wrong lead size in there. Uh, it's really not a problem with 0.5 millimeter, millimeter, uh, 0.5 millimeter but uh, with 0.3, sometimes you'll put a, put a size of uh, a piece of 0.35 millimeter lead in there and that'll jam. 
uh, and using subtle differently less, uh, subtly different lead like that will cause some jams. And then lastly, if you just put too much lead inside the hole, inside the holder here, that can cause some problems. That can cause clogging at the top piece here as the leg tries, the lead tries to get in, not jamming in the front. But uh, unless you're really investigating this and trying to figure out exactly where the lead jam is, you may not know whether the jam was here at the sort of where the holding area goes into the clutch area at the clutch itself or at the front piece. The jam could occur at any of those places and uh, they could all seem basically like the same, like just like you're pushing the button and the lead's not coming out. Anyway, so that is how you clear the lead out of a mechanical pencil with and without a cleaning rod. Thanks for watching.